Cassava, the root that unites south with south. A rustic root crop is among the things that unite two opposite sides of the world, South America and Southeast Asia. This crop is cassava, which is rich in carbohydrates, iron, calcium, and vitamins A and C, and also has great commercial potential. Many people don't realize that cassava, in fact, has been the fastest growing crop in the world in the last 20 years. Cassava is grown on more than 100 countries in the world. In Southeast Asia, the main growing countries are Thailand, Indonesia, uh, Cambodia, and uh, Philippines are some of the major ones. This promising global scenario is overshadowed by the spread of witch's broom disease, which is putting at risk the livelihoods of the approximately 40 million small farmers in Southeast Asia who depend on cassava. La escoba de bruja, enfermedad limitante para el cultivo de yuca, eh, tiene unos síntomas eh, muy característicos como son eh, la clorosis o amarillamiento de las hojas, hay una proliferación de hojas pequeñas, eh, los, los entrenudos en los tallos son mucho más cortos, podemos observar enanismo y el producto principal que es la raíz eh, presenta una reducción en la calidad eh, del de almidón podemos tener alrededor de un 30% de pérdidas en contenidos de almidón y las pérdidas en la producción pueden alcanzar hasta un 90 o 100% dependiendo de la finca. In Southeast Asia, witch's broom disease was reported for the first time in Thailand in 2008. It has since seriously affected production in Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, China, and the Philippines. It was reported in Latin America in 1981, affecting Mexico, Brazil, Venezuela, and Peru. This is where the South-South connection comes in, responding to an urgent need for knowledge sharing to halt the advance of the disease. To this end, the Colombian Presidential Agency for International Cooperation, APC Colombia, its Spanish acronym, has joined forces with several Asian countries to attack witch's broom disease through the agricultural innovation component of its strategy for South-South cooperation with Southeast Asia. APC is also working in close collaboration with the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, SIAT. Together, they have offered training in diagnostic methods and alternative practices for integrated management of witch's broom disease. This training has focused on the use of a diagnostic method called real-time PCR for detecting and quantifying the phytoplasma, a special type of bacteria that is associated with the disease. The use of this method makes it possible to certify clean seed, which in turn can significantly reduce the disease's spread as planting stakes are moved from one area or country to another. The training targeted researchers and other professionals from the cassava sector in Colombia, Cambodia, China, the Philippines, India, Indonesia, Thailand, and Vietnam. It also attracted participants Corpo Ica. This organization, working with the Colombian Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, MADR, has made significant progress in making the cassava crop more competitive in this country. La colaboración Sur-Sur eh, se ha estrechado muchísimo eh, porque hemos desarrollado proyectos colaborativos en los países asiáticos como Vietnam, Cambodia, Tailandia. Eh, desarrollamos un kit que es un kit específicamente para campo y ha permitido que los agricultores puedan detectar en cada una de sus fincas eh, el patógeno que puede estar causando esta enfermedad de escoba de bruja. Hemos eh, desarrollado en conjunto con los países asiáticos un sistema de manejo de la semilla mediante tratamiento térmico. De esta manera, los agricultores tienen para cada una de sus fincas semilla que está libre del microorganismo que causa esta enfermedad limitante en el cultivo de yuca, como es eh, la escoba de bruja. Preventing the spread of witch's broom disease depends ultimately on farmers and extension workers. A primer developed for these groups illustrates ways of detecting symptoms in the field 
and emphasizes the importance of removing infected plants from the crop and burning them to ensure good harvests and income, as well as disease-free seed for the next planting. The effort to control and even eradicate witch's broom disease is ongoing. This is why it's more important now than ever to establish new partnerships that will help strengthen cassava production and research in Southeast Asia and Latin America.